Welcome back. Thank you for joining us. This is Michael Dickerson, KC9PHK, on behalf of the Clay County Area Amateur Radio Club located in southeastern Illinois, presenting this next video in the 2018 Technician Class Amateur Radio Question Pool. If you are subscribed to us on YouTube, hopefully you got the notification that videos are being released and you'll continue to get those. If you're not subscribed and this is your first video, you'll want to go back to the first video in this series and start over there. This will cover sub-elements T5A and T5B, which is almost midway through the video series that we have going on. Something I failed to mention early on, the answers may change as far as the order they're in on our slides. They are could be A, B, C, or D. When you go to take your test, those answers could be switched around. The answers will be the same, but they can be in a different order. I failed to mention that, and I will create another video at another time, but I wanted to mention that as I was thinking of it. Today we're going to continue on. Uh, Sub-element T5, electrical principles, math for electronics, electronic principles, Ohm's law. Four exam questions come from this sub-element out of the four groups that are in T5. First off, T5A, electrical principles, units and terms, current and voltage, conductors and insulators, alternating and direct current, series and parallel circuits. T5A01. Electrical current is measured in which of the following units? A. Volts, B. Watts, C. Ohms, or D. Amperes? Correct answer is D. Amperes. T5A02. Electrical power is measured in which of the following units? A. Volts, B. Watts, C. Ohms, or D. Amperes? Correct answer. Electrical power is measured in watts. B. Watts. T5A03. Which is the name for the flow of electrons in an electrical circuit? A. Voltage. B. Resistance. C. Capacitance. Or D. Current. The correct answer is D. Current. T5A04, which is the name for a current that flows only in one direction. A. Alternating current. B. Direct current. C. Normal current. Or D. Smooth current. The correct answer is B. Direct current. T5A05, which is is the electrical term for the electromotive force that causes electron flow. A. Voltage. B. Ampere hours. C. Capacitance. Or D. Inductance. Correct answer is A. Voltage. T5A06. How much voltage does a mobile transceiver typically require? A. About 12 volts. B about 30 volts, C, about 120 volts, or D, about 240 volts? The correct answer is A, about 12 volts. T5A07, which of the following is a good electrical conductor? A, glass, B, wood, C, copper, or D, rubber? Correct answer is C, copper. Conductors carry electricity, and copper is a great conductor. T5A08. Which of the following is a good electrical insulator? A. Copper. B. Glass. C. Aluminum. D. Mercury. Correct answer is B. Glass. Glass is a good insulator. T5A09. What is the name for a current that reverses direction on a regular basis. A. Alternating current. B. Direct current. 
C, circular current, or D, vertical current. Correct answer is A, alternating current. T5A10, which term describes the rate at which electrical energy is used? A, resistance, B, current, C, power, D, voltage. Correct answer is C, power. T5A11, what is the unit of electromotive force? A, the volt, B, the watt, C, the ampere, or D, the ohm? Correct answer is A, the volt. T5A12, what describes the number of times per second that an alternating current makes a complete cycle? A, pulse rate, B, speed, C, wavelength, or D, frequency? Correct answer is D, frequency. T5A13, which type of circuit is current the same through all components? A, series, B, parallel, C, resonant, or D, branch? Correct answer is A, series. T5A14, in which type of circuit is voltage the same across all components? A, series, B, parallel, C, resonant, D, branch. The correct answer is B, parallel. T, 5B, math for electronics, conversion of electrical units, decibels, and the metric system. T, 5B, 0, 1, how many milliamperes is 1.5 amperes? A, 15 milliamperes. B, 150 milliamperes, C, 1500 milliamperes, or D, 15,000 milliamperes? Correct answer is C, 1500 milliamperes. T5B02. What is another way to specify a radio signal frequency of 1,500,000 hertz? A. 1500 kilohertz, B, 1500 megahertz, C, 15 gigahertz, or D, 150 kilohertz. Correct answer is A, 1500 kilohertz. T5B03, how many volts are equal to one kilovolt? A, one one thousandth of a volt, B, 100 volts, C, 1000 volts, or D, 1 million volts? Correct answer is C, 1,000 volts. 1,000 volts is 1 kilovolt. T5B04. How many volts are equal to 1 microvolt? A, 1 1 millionth of a volt. B, 1 million volts. C, 1,000 kilovolts. Or D, 1 1 thousandth of a volt. Correct answer is A, one one millionth of a volt. T5B05, which of the following is equal to 500 milliwatts? A, 0 0.02 watts. B, 0 0.5 watts. C, 5 watts. Or D, 50 watts. The correct answer is B, 0 0.5 watts. T5B06, if an ammeter calibrated in amperes is used to measure a 3,000 milliampere current, what reading would it show? A, 0 0.003 amperes, B, 0 0.3 amperes, C, 3 amperes, or D, 3 million amperes. Correct answer is C, 3 amperes. T5B07, if a frequency display calibrated in megahertz shows a reading of 3.525 megahertz, what would it show if it were calibrated in kilohertz? A, 0 0.003525 kilohertz. 
B, 35.25 kilohertz. C, 35.25 kilohertz. Or D, 3,525,000 kilohertz. Correct answer is C, 3,525 kilohertz. T5B08. How many microfarads are equal to 1 million picofarads? A. 0 0.001 microfarads. B. 1 microfarad. C. 1,000 microfarads. Or D. 1 billion microfarads. Correct answer is B. 1 microfarad. T5B09, what is the approximate amount of change measured in decibels of a power increase of 5 watts to 10 watts? A, 2 decibel, B, 3 decibel, C, 5 decibel, or D, 10 decibel? The correct answer is B, 3 decibel gain. T5B10, what is the approximate amount of change measured in decibels? of a power decrease from 12 watts to 3 watts. A, negative 1 decibel. B, negative 3 decibel. C, negative 6 decibel. Or D, negative 9 decibel. The correct answer is C, negative 6 decibel. T5B11, what is the amount of change measured in decibels of a power increase from 20 watts to 200 watts? A, 10 decibel, B, 12 decibel, C, 18 decibel, or D, 28 decibel? Correct answer is A, 10 decibel. T5B12, which of the following frequencies is equal to 28,400 kilohertz? A, 28.400 megahertz, B, 2.800 megahertz, C, 284.00 megahertz or D 28.400 kilohertz correct answer is a 28.400 megahertz t5b13 if a frequency displayed showing a reading of 2425 megahertz what frequency is that in gigahertz a 0. 0.002425 gigahertz, B, 24.25 gigahertz, C, 2.425 gigahertz, or D, 2425 gigahertz. Correct answer is C, 2.425 gigahertz. All right, that concludes the next video in the series. Hopefully you're subscribed where you'll be notified as we release additional videos. If you've not subscribed, please do so today. Please share our videos with others who would enjoy them or find them beneficial. I will slowly be releasing others. And again, I want to thank everybody for following us as we're releasing them as well. Uh, these videos are developed from slides I created. The slides and the videos may be used for non-commercial use for amateur radio license preparation as well as amateur radio classes with reference provided to the Clay County Area Amateur Radio Club as the developer. Also, we ask that you please reference our website, www.claycountyradio.webs.com.